Deontay Wilder vs. Gile Zhang is happening as the undercard on the Better BF vs. Bivol card on June 1. But who's actually going to win this fight? Well, let's take a look at the latest performances in which Deontay Wilder fought Robbie Helenius in which he knocked him out in round 1. Back foot. Now after this, we all thought the old Deontay Wilder was back and so he fought Joseph Parker and when Joseph Parker completely outlanded Deontay Wilder in every single round, completely outboxed Deontay Wilder in which he even walked him around day. And then won by decision. Go to the winner by unanimous decision from New Zealand. Now let's take a look at Gilles Jean's latest performances in which he fought Joe Joyce for the second time in which he TKO'd him in the first fight and this was nothing different because they both started out very fast and then he knocked him out in round three. And after this, Gilles Jean also went on to fight Joseph Parker in which he dropped him in round three. But then Joseph Parker came back and completely outlanded him in every single round. And when Gilles Jean dropped him again in round eight, but again, Joseph Parker had just won too many rounds, and Joseph Parker ended up taking it by decision. And new WBO interim heavyweight champion. Now, honestly, this is a very good fight, and this fight will mean a lot to both men. And the reason I say this is because Deontay Water just got exposed by Joseph Parker, as Joseph Parker proved that Deontay Water isn't as unbeatable and isn't as dangerous as people think, as he was able to eliminate his power, which pushed Deontay Water to a point where he had to go back to boxing, which he sucks at, which is why things didn't go his way. Now, as for Jule Jean, well, this fight also means a lot to him, but the fact that he put on a way better performance against Joseph Parker than Deontay Water definitely makes me want to favor him more, because he shows something that Deontay Water did it, and that is that he showed that he's able to land the big knockout shots and hurt his opponents but while he was successful at that he was also unsuccessful with his punch output which is why he was losing rounds by rounds and which is why he didn't come out on top so i believe that as gilet jong starts to let his hands go he could be a very dangerous opponent for deontay water and a very dangerous fighter for the whole heavyweight division so in the end i got gilet jong winning this fight because he's a way better boxer than deontay water as deontay water has shown that he likes even the basis of boxing as his footwork is non-existent so his power doesn't matter because every single heavyweight has power it's just a matter of fact of who's the better boxer